Trevor Zegras has proved he is changing the game of hockey. Hit the intro. Sauces to Zegras between the legs. Oh my goodness. He's done it again. Trevor takes it in behind the net. He scores. He's created some remarkable moments on the rink, but his off-the-ice lifestyle will certainly shock you. Let's quickly start things off with his background and his childhood. Trevor Zegras was born March 20th, 2001 in Bedford, New York. His parents, Gary and Julie, introduced him to hockey at a young age. He began skating at the age of three and played in the Rising Stars Youth Program alongside his cousins. He soon became a fan of the New York Rangers and studied every elite NHL player. Growing up in New York, Zegras played bantam major hockey with the Mid-Fairfield Rangers before joining Avon Old Farms, a boarding school in Connecticut. Let's briefly discuss his amateur career. In 2017, he joined the Under-17 National Team Development Program. The following year, he managed 61 points in just 60 games, garnering attention from NHL scouts. And when the season ended, he was selected ninth overall by the Anaheim Ducks in the 2019 NHL Draft. In spite of his draft selection, Zegras kept his commitment to play NCAA Division I ice hockey for Boston University. In his sole season at BU, he tied for third among all Division I freshmen and was selected to the East All-Rookie Team. Time to talk about his NHL career and achievements. In March of 2020, he signed a three-year entry-level contract with the Ducks worth $5,325,000. He was assigned to their AHL affiliate, the San Diego Goals. The following February, he made his professional debut with the Goals and had one goal and two assists in his first game. He was caught up to the NHL later that month, and on March 18th, he scored his first goal. Makes a pass, score, Trevor Zegras! He has his first NHL goal. He finished the season with 13 points through 24 games. General manager Bob Murray wanted him to switch from left wing to center, so he sent Zegras back down to the AHL for experience. He quickly became a mainstay in the Ducks lineup while playing alongside Sonny Milano and Ricard Raquel. And early in the 2021-22 season, he had this overtime winner. Zegras joined by Henry. He scores! Trevor Zegras, overtime game winner! He brought new life to the Ducks, copying a selly from his good friend Jack Hughes from one month earlier. And that December, this happened. Oh, look at this! Oh, he just of Trevor Zegras. You've seen the Michigan goal. Now be old the Michigan pass. I'm not trying to be a fool here, but I I'm just not so sure it's great for the game. If you did that back in the 2000, late 90s, 2000, you get your head taken off. A few weeks later, he one-upped himself. And there's a lacrosse goal from behind the net from Trevor Zegras <laughs> right <laughs> off the ensuing wow. face-off. And later that year, he did it again. Zegras that time tried to go between his legs and they score. Oh, my. That is gross. That is absolutely gross. At the conclusion of the season, Zegers was named the cover athlete for NHL 23 alongside Sarah Nurse. During the offseason, he changed his number from 46 to 11, his childhood number. He spent the entire summer training, and it paid off as Zegers would go on an absolute tear. Sauces to Zegers for trading the legs! Oh my goodness! Top shelf! Despite missing the playoffs, he led the Ducks in all statistical categories. He recorded a career-high 65 points with 23 goals. Due to injury, he missed some time to start the 2023-24 season. Upon his return, the NHL world witnessed one of the strangest occurrences in the league's history. First, this happened. Rebound for Bedard down low. Bedard! style scores! Unbelievable! And a few hours later, this happened. Trevor takes it in behind the net. He scores! A lacrosse goal! I've seen a lot of guys try it, but not while they're skating at almost full speed. Two Michigan goals in one night. The two exchanged text messages after the game, and later on, Wayne Gretzky had this to say. I couldn't do what he did tonight. That just wasn't in my repertoire. Before we dive into how much he's made, let's briefly go over his international career. In January of 2021, Zegers represented the United States at the IIHF World Junior Championships. He had this to say before the gold medal game against Canada. I honestly don't think this goalie's been tested five on five yet. Um, and I think that's something that, that we're gonna prove today and hopefully we get a couple of them. And he made sure to deliver. 
He scored one goal and one assist in their gold medal game, and the United States defeated Canada 2 to nothing. He was named World Juniors MVP after scoring seven goals and recording 11 assists during the tournament. Let's take a look at his recent contracts and brand deals. Zegras has signed one major extension since his rookie deal. After Zegras led the Ducks in scoring, Anaheim signed him to a three-year deal worth $17,250,000. He also has brand deals with Chipotle and Wells Fargo. Peeking now into his personal life. Real quick, we're launching a new YouTube channel dedicated to capturing the most unforgettable hockey moments. We'll be showcasing the craziest, funniest, and most unbelievable moments in the NHL. So make sure to subscribe to Natty Hattie. Back in 2022, he used to live with teammate Jamie Drysdale in Corona Del Mar. Now, he's living in Newport Beach, California. After signing his contract, he went out and bought a brand new BMW X4, which set him back $79,000. Though, sometimes he likes his chauffeur. Get my chauffeur skills out and pick up uh, our two all-stars at the airport. He was kind enough to show John Gibson and Troy Terry around Vegas. Welcome to Las Vegas. Oh no, Troy. We're going to get married. Uh, by the power vested in me from the Anaheim Ducks. I, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Outside of hockey, he's known to be a bit of a fashion icon and even has his own styles for grace and clothing. He also enjoys golfing with his brother Griffin and playing tennis with his friend Jack Hughes. But this is a different level. Cole Caulfield's a caddy. Feels pretty good today. First time, probably the last two. <laughs> <laughs> Trevor's cousin Billy is also a gifted skater and most recently played for the UCLA Bruins. Recently, Trevor has been dating Dixie D'Amelio, a social media personality known for her videos on TikTok. They were most recently spotted at Dixie's birthday dinner in August of 2023. Before her, he was dating Emma McDonald. She is also a social media star. Now for some moments that caused some waves in Zegras' career. Some bad blood boiled between Trevor and the Coyotes after his Michigan goal in 2022. Later that game, he was cross-checked by Jay Beagle, who went on to knock out Troy Terry. Trevor had this to say. I'm embarrassed for whoever that was. I'm not going to say his name. And I think the, the league should step in here and then do something about it. When the teams met again in 2023, this happened. And now we got a penalty coming up. Trevor received a 10-minute misconduct for the cross-check delivered to Troy Stetcher. The two continued to argue, and reports stated that Zegras said something extremely personal and inappropriate. Stetcher's incensed. If I can read lips, Hazy, I think he said, I don't like it. He also faced backlash after delivering cross-checks to Jonas Ronberg and Matthew Kachuk. In 2022, he was fined $1,500 for spearing Matt Benning. Now at this point, you must be getting excited about his earnings. Now we're sure Zegras will sign much bigger contracts in the near future, so his net worth will definitely rise. Having said that, his total career earnings to date are $8,008,288. Make sure to subscribe to Natty Hattie. Thanks for watching.